All right, now we are at example five, which is an entirely different type of questions that we've seen so far. So let's take a look at example five. Now it's given to us that alpha is a root of this particular quadratic equation. All right, now our job is not to just find anything now, not to find a quadratic equation, uh, not to find a, any value of any alpha, beta, but we're interested to show, okay, it's a show question, to show that um, a square plus blah, 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 is equal to zero, something like this. Okay, how are we going to show something like this? Okay, let's take a look. All right now, this is type of uh, question is pretty new and uh, very um, common in some schools examination. So you may want to take note of how do you handle something similar to this. Okay, so now given that a is a root to this particular equation, uh, what we do know is that if we were to substitute in a or rather x equals to a, we'll end up with this, a square plus a minus 2 equals to 0. Okay, and uh, how are we, how on earth are we going to get this to become like this? Okay, so it really takes a lot of uh, manipulation and perhaps a little bit of creativity involved, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to shift this entire thing to the right hand side and we end up with a square equals to um, 2, positive 2, minus a. Okay, so this is our a square equals to. And uh, now you notice that right from the beginning, right from here, um, there isn't any a cube. So the thing that we're supposed to show to has an a cube. Right, naturally means that we need to somehow figure out how to get an a cube. And uh, it sounds like a good idea that we start from here and uh, we multiply throughout by a. So that gives us our a cube plus a square plus minus away 2a is equal to 0, isn't it? So now we're, we, we have the a cube, okay, so which is what the question wants us to have, but a cube, and then we have an a cube, uh, but we, we don't really have this negative 3a plus, in fact, we have this a square, okay, so, so in other words, we need to try at your, our best to get rid of this a square, okay, so perhaps let me use another color so that we can see the um, relationship a little bit clearer. So a square, we need to get rid of this because there's no a square here. And what we know from this particular equation is that hey, a square looks like 2 minus a. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute in this a square okay, as 2 minus a. Okay, so this used to be where the a square was, and, and now it becomes like this, and if we were to simplify this, we will end up with negative 3a plus 2 equals to 0, and here we go. Okay, we've shown, done. Okay, so that, that, that is our part 1. Okay, so let's take a look at part 2. Uh, which is a little bit more intimidating now because, well, there is a power 4, right? a to the power 4. So how are we going to approach this? All right, now, from the beginning, what we know is that our a square is actually equals to 2 minus a. We can get it from here, isn't it? Okay, so, so and, and this actually comes from the original equation itself. So to, in order to get a4, it's not very difficult to understand that we need to square both sides, isn't it? So when we square both sides, we get a power 4, and we end up with 2 minus a bracket square on the on the right, and uh, it, it seems like we have no choice uh, but to expand this, and we end up with 4 minus away 4a plus a square. Okay, so you go like, aha, right, let's check and see what are the things that we already have. If a power 4, yes, we have. Uh, well, a positive 4, hmm, this is tricky, we, we do have a 4, but it's not really a positive 4, because you realize that if we were to bring this 4 over, uh, it ends up becoming a negative 4. So, well, we don't really have this 4 yet, okay, and what is even more troubling is this negative 4a, because, well, there isn't any a around, and we are now stuck with this a. Okay, there is an a square, okay, we have an a square, but the numbers are not quite the same again. So, what do we need to do? Well, we need to get rid of this a, naturally, isn't it? I mean, we need to think of ways to figure out how to get rid of this. And what we figure out all the way from here, okay, if I were to, okay, rewrite this one more time, and that is a square 
equals to 2 minus a. And if you were to make a the subject by bringing this negative a over to the left and so on and so forth, we end up with a equals to 2 minus a squared. So this is the a, and this is the a, same a. So let's try to substitute it in and see what we end up with. Okay, so we have a power 4 on the left, and on the right we have 4 minus with 4 multiplied by 2 multiply uh, sorry 2 minus a square plus a square so if we were to open up the bracket we end up with 4 minus 8 plus 4 a square plus a square and of course if we were to simplify this we end up with negative 4 plus 5 a square and hey it does look a bit familiar and you realize that hey if I, all i need to do next is just to shift everything to the left hand side we we'll end up with a power 4 minus 5 a square plus 4 equals to 0 and there you go this is how we show it